Hi, this is Chris at Chris Swift Studio, and today we're going to be going over four very useful techniques for trimming your clips. Ripple, roll, slip, and slide. I've got uh, three clips I brought into this project, kind of generic little road trip clips uh, for demonstration purposes only on how to use these four techniques to uh, uh, trim up the endpoints, the beginning point or the end point of your clip. So let's start with ripple first. And for rippling, that will work either with the select tool selected or the trim tool selected. Let's stay with the select tool. Position your cursor close to the end of one clip and you'll see a kind of a closed bracket symbol, click and drag, and that'll drag that one in. It's a magnetic timeline, so all the other clips will kind of stick together and follow along. Click and drag in. When I come out, uh, that yellow line turns red. That tells me I'm at the very beginning, I'm at the first frame, and I'm just, I just simply don't have any more media to do. So that's Ripple. Okay, I've got the full clips here on both of these. Now let's try another technique called roll. Uh, now for rolling, you do need the trim tool selected. Place your cursor at the edit point right between two clips. You'll see that symbol. Click and drag to the left and to the right, and there's nothing you can do. That's because you have no, let's say, how can you say this, unused media on these clips. You're at the end of this one, and you're at the very beginning. You're at the first frame of this one and the last frame of that one. So there's nowhere really to roll. So what you really need to do is, if you get this guy trimmed in a little bit and this guy trimmed in a little bit, now go to your trim tool, place your cursor between the two. Now click and drag. Now see I'm trimming the out end of the first clip and the in end, if you will, on the second clip simultaneously. Now take a look at your viewer. You'll see a split screen on your viewer. What you'll see on the left is the last frame of, in this case, clip number one. And the view on the right, the screen on the right, is the first frame of clip number two. Now if you don't see this split screen, and you would like to, you need to change this in preferences. Come to Final Cut Pro, Preferences, and under Editing, there'll be this box, Show Detailed Trimming Feedback, so make sure that's checked on, and you'll get your split screen view when you do your rolling. Okay, so that's ripple and roll. Now let's do a little bit of slipping and sliding. Try this one. You need, again, on this to have your trim tool selected. Come into, somewhere into the clip uh, that you want to do a little slipping on and just click and drag left or right. So I'm going to click and drag left and nothing happens. And I'm going to click and drag right and I get a little bit of something happening. Again, this is because I don't have a lot of room to move here. This one is almost at the end here. I need to be trimming in a little bit. And I need to be trimming in a little bit more. Once I do that, I have uh, what you might call handles on either side of the clip. In other words, I have unused media um, that's not being seen at the beginning of clip two and also at the end. Now I can do a little bit of slipping. Click and drag left and right. And again, it's pretty obvious when you hit the very first frame or last frame of your clip because that line turns red and then it'll turn red. So here's how to adjust the first and last frame of this clip where you're doing your slipping. Same idea in the viewer. The view, uh, view on the left is the first frame and the view on the right is the last frame of that clip. Okay, that's slipping. Now let's try the last one sliding. Sliding is kind of the same idea. You still have to have your trim uh, tool selected, only this time you do option, click, and drag. Now I'm going to drag to the left and nothing happens. I'm going to drag to the right and I can do a little bit. Now just pay attention. Visually it is the most instructive here. I'm going to drag to the right. Pay attention to which line turns red right there. Now I'm at the last frame of clip number one. I can't go any farther. I can slide over clip number one until I run out of room on clip number three, and then I can't go any farther. So clearly, the more you have your clips trimmed in on either side, the more you're going to be able 
to do your sliding. Trim them in here, come into the middle here, do option, click, drag. Now I can be sliding all over the place. Again, I ran out of room on number three and ran out of room on number one. So uh, with this option, what you can do is you can clip a lot of uh, uh, in points and out points of um, adjacent frames. Okay, those are four very handy techniques for manipulating your clips and uh, trimming the in points and the out points, um, and also being able to see a split screen view um, when you do this, especially in your slipping kind of thing. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.